Hey Jose, so here's my thoughts about writing a song in the key of F. Um, off the top of my head, most songs like that are in the key of F, I would think of these chords. It's basically F, C, B flat, and D minor in some order. So most songs in the key of F are going to use those chords, sometimes G minor. Usually not like that though, usually just B. Or sometimes A minor, or A major. Or sometimes people do B flat, B flat minor. So off the top of my head, that's what I would think about. And then the other thing I know about the key of F that's kind of annoying is this note sounds really bad. B. So like if you're just like jamming, you don't want to hit B because it's not in the scale. Like let's say you're going, let's say someone's playing F, and occasionally they go to B flat, and you're playing, all of a sudden you go. Once you're trying to do something weird, the B string is kind of off limits in the key of F. And that's because an F scale has F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, and F. So the note B isn't in there and it would clash with, it would be like, sometimes what would happen like if you're playing a B flat chord and you have a B in there, it sounds horrible. So that's another thing I know about the key of F, is you can't hit the B string when you're playing in it unless you're trying to do something weird. So then beyond that, you said you understand like chord numbers, so here's the one chord, F, the two chord is G minor. So usually when I'm trying to make up a song, I just go through and think of what the chords are. A minor, B flat, this is a four chord, C is the five chord, and D minor, and then the seven chord is usually, uh, would be E diminished, or you could play like a minor, or a minor seven. Uh, but really the diminished chord the half diminished chord is the one that that like works um, diatonically which means it's made up of just the F major scale tones so I just went up now I know my chords going up so here's a way to do a diminished chord down here that's kind of easy then I would go backwards from F this way Six chord, five chord, so then when I start to do, I'm writing a song, I just think, I usually just do it kind of randomly, just like hum stuff, like, I'll just start strumming, like, bow, bow. and I'll be like, do I want to be happier or not, so like, if I want to keep it happy, I'd go to like B flat maybe. start adding extra notes in there like that makes it a little tropical this could sound kind of neat and I would start to figure out what note is that so maybe I could do Like it's starting to get kind of into jazzy or like a little weird territory. Or do I want to keep it more folky and standard just and just go like this instead? So let's say I wanted to keep it folky and simple, then I would start thinking, well, a lot of times I just do the one four chord for like the verse. I like the one four chord more. And I start picking notes and humming stuff as I do this, just to come up with that melody ideas. So maybe. So I like the note C. So maybe I 
could use C as part of my melody. Start kind of coming up with melody ideas while you're doing the chorus. So that's kind of like a really basic song. And then I'd think, well, maybe I want a sadder part so I could go to one of the minor chords, like D minor. If you want it to sound more like kind of like a Spanishy song, you go to A major instead. There you go. So that's kind of like basic stuff. Um, the other thing I might do is start picking down here, like. Start exploring the bass notes. skip over B here. I'm like, oh, like maybe I'll change this B major to a B7, because it's starting to get too folky and boring. So. Normally this chord sounds really bad, but in the key of F it sounds kind of nice. So. And then after that, what I might do is start exploring the little triad shapes, like so. We know we got F, G minor, and then I might even get smaller pieces of these shapes, like. So if you want to do like indie rock, like if, if you I gotta do this more on electric guitar, but they do like a lot of little shapes like you take little pieces. So let's say my chord progression that I liked and I wanted to sort of make it more energetic was just these two chords to start. Well then I think, well where could I play F and B flat up higher? So you could do F right here. Or you could do F right here. Or and B flat could be right here. Right here. Maybe I want it up higher, so like I have it out of this range. So you could do it like uh, B flat major. So maybe I'll go up to here for F. I'm just thinking about these triads. Like that it sort of sounds like and then I think how am I gonna play it? Maybe I can do it lower. I don't 
like that shape. So I like this. Now I have to figure out how many. I like the first part, so then you would kind of keep working at it to figure out a new way to do it. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm thinking about F and B flat up higher, and then these kind of things can start to influence what you do in the chords. And let me think how I can show you that, like. So F, add a note, B flat, add some notes, and then I want to do B flat. So I don't really like this bottom riff, I have to keep working on it. I like this top one, so I stick with this. It can start to affect your chords as you could start to kind of analyze it a little bit and think about what you're doing. So I'm going from like C to D on an F chord. So, so that's too low. So maybe I could do it. And then on the B flat, I was going adding E and then F. So maybe I could. So all of a sudden I have like kind of something I've never actually done this on. I've never really done that I don't think. So this little idea kind of like trickled down to this idea. sound good so you gotta be kind of careful like so F major that sounds bad so G minor in here. And then maybe C. You can do it in the bass. Like. So it was kind of like the melody that was up on top in the bass. And then what you can do if you're doing songs by yourself this is the last thing. You could be like, you could start out your song like. start singing you could just go to like standard chords it's hard to sometimes hard to sing over like like single note stuff so anyways hope that was helpful bye